The Irish Centre started in 1955 by a group of priests and a group of laymen and they saw the usefulness and the necessity of a centre such as this. Now, we deal as primarily a welfare centre and during the course of a year, we would deal with about 3,000 cases. Now, some of them would be very ordinary ones, a boy and girl looking for accommodation, boy and girl looking for employment when they come to this country for the first time. And we also deal with a number of social problem cases. These are quite heavy at times and they come under various categories. Normally, our everyday run of things is this boy and girl who come to England. They may be told in Ireland by the American bureaus or by other people that when they come to London, they should call here at the Irish Centre. Now, we try to fix them up either in our hostels or in other accommodation and we get them employment. Now, in our hostels, we would keep them for about seven to eight weeks. The reason is because if the same boy and girl was to stay here for a long, long time, we wouldn't be help, able to help very many people. Therefore, normally the charge for the boys is four pounds a week, which includes their bed and breakfast, their dinner in the evening, and all their meals on Saturday and Sunday. Now, the girls are charged less. We get their job settled, employment for them, we get their wage packet going correctly, their income tax to get used to the City of London, then after about seven or eight weeks we get them accommodation elsewhere. <laughs> If you take loneliness for, an, for example, it, it always struck me that, you know, a person came to England and for about three or four months in the beginning, everything was glossy, grand and new. This is understandable. Everything was exciting. It was different and so on. But then after about three or four months, a goodly number of them, you know, became a little bit unsettled. and They didn't quite understand or know what was wrong, but what basically was wrong, and they hadn't analysed it was, that they had begun now to miss all the people who had made their lives full and contented at home. In an Irish community, there's always somebody. There's always something that you can do. You don't have to have money to do it and so forth. And one seldom realizes within that context, the part that many of these pals and cousins play in making your life contented. It's, 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 it's amazing how lonely life can become and can be in a city like London. I know no one at all in London. But I have friends down in Surrey. No, no one in London has to have. These old buildings are, we have already uh, converted and spent a lot of money. And the more you, you do with them, of course, uh, they, they get more expensive all the time. They're not, they're not, they're not worth uh, doing very much with. And our next step is to, uh, negotiations are going on for acquiring the property next door from British Railways. In fact, they're very far advanced. Where we hope to build a, a new hostel to accommodate 50 persons, a men's hostel. Stage two, another 50. The old one was originally two old houses that were converted in. They're good for a few years, but uh, really we want a new one. The cost here is, um, again, quite uh, sizable. The total cost we expect to be in the region of 200,000. But uh, the financial problem, of course, here uh, is a very big one, because particularly for, uh, in regards to capital development. We can, we can run the whole business economically all right, but when it comes to providing uh, uh, capital, it's a, a, a different story. That is our major headache. The Irish Centre has always been in financial trouble since it started. It's uh, uh, a destitution of this nature must be unless uh, it was very heavily subsidised and this was not the case here. It was very hard to raise funds for it. This new extension is uh, to relieve the overcrowding on the, John on the Kennedy Hall. <laughs> Be 
besides being a welfare centre, the Irish Centre is also a social centre where Irish people may come and mix together socially. And there we have got um, bar facilities, and each Saturday evening has got a bacon and cabbage dinner usually. 